Hey everybody, MotoPoet59 here. I was doing some research for a history thing I have going and I uh, got on Google to look up some stuff, do some further my research, and I saw that Gavin Newsom has signed AB 587, which is a media transpar a social media transparency act into law. Uh, I hadn't heard anything about this because I, I really haven't been paying a lot of attention to this kind of to to political news lately in light of everything that's going on with the economy. Uh, I've really been more focused on that, and I have a lot of stuff going on in my life that doesn't involve news at all, and it's been keeping me busy. Uh, it wouldn't have mattered if I'd heard about this because we, the citizens of California, didn't get a say in this. Um, it wouldn't have mattered if we'd have had a voice in it because the intellectually lazy, low information, ignorant, progressive, liberal, whatever you want to call these fools that outnumber the greater area of California, the people who live in the big cities in San Francisco and Los Angeles, outnumber the rest of the state. And it's just, it's maddening. I've done a video on that before, so I won't uh, go back into that. But uh, this AB 587 uh, social media tra transparency bill is, is not about transparency, it's about censorship. It was written to protect people from hate speech and harassment and misinformation. And these social media platforms, wh whichever they are, and some of these are, are uh, conservative platforms, are going to have to send biannual reports to the state government, and I didn't, I can't remember which body it is, it doesn't make any difference, they're going to have to answer every six months with these reports and all these, and, th and what it is designed to do is allow the government to find out who does and doesn't agree with them, and the government, the state government in California, are the ones who are going to get to decide what is harassment? What is hate? What is misinformation? They're the ones that get to decide that. The First Amendment, and I did a piece about this some time back, the First Amendment was written to protect hate speech. That's what it was written to protect. Everyone has the right to not like things. No one has the right to not be offended. And the government is not going to allow the First Amendment to be exercised as it was written by our founding fathers to be exercised. The government is going to decide what we can and can't say. And if you liberals think that you're not next, you've got another thing coming. You, it doesn't make any difference. You can agree with them, you can disagree with them, but if you say something that they don't like, you're going to be on the chopping block too. It's only a matter of time. Once you allow these these people, right now it's California, but as they say, as goes California, as goes the nation. You cannot allow these people to disassemble the Constitution and the Bill of Rights of the United States of America. This is a founding document. This isn't something we can just uh, toss around and, and alter to suit our agendas, not even conservatives. It's just, it's insane. Things are getting incredibly scary. Uh, I, I continue to say that I, that I don't want to leave California, and I probably won't because this isn't going to stay in California. Once, the, once these other liberal states around here, not just around here, across the nation, figure out that California can get away with this, then they'll do it too. You, it, it's, ugh, it is so scary right now. We are, it, it, it is getting to the point where we will not be allowed to even think bad things. They'll put tinfoil hats on us, whatever. But you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. And I can't believe that the progressives and the liberals, these low information, ignorant Democrats, are allowing this to happen. I can't believe that they don't see that it can happen to them. The Republicans, the conservatives, are their best protection from that kind of stuff happening to them and they they're just they they're so filled with hate and divisiveness that they can't see that they just they're illogical and uh 
And I'm not saying that all Republicans are logical, because they're not. But the conservative side of politics is the only thing standing between the citizens of the United States and the government of the United States that the Constitution was written to protect us from. These people are blurring that line where we will no longer be protected from the tyrannical government, and that's what's happening right now. And people are allowing it to happen. You have to stop doing this. I know that not many people watch this channel. I don't have very many subscribers. I don't get very many views. But if you see this video, make sure your friends know about this. Tell everybody you can about it. Tell them to tell everybody they can about it. Because this ain't about me and my channel. This is about you and your freedom. This is about you and your rights as an American citizen. And they are being trampled on right now by the federal government, but particularly by the government of California. Uh, Gavin Newsom is a dangerous, dangerous person, and the uh, politicians in Sacramento are no better. This is, this is scary. This is frightening. So spread the word, because it is going to affect us all. This isn't just about social media. This is about them finding out who's saying what, and they'll come after us. Look what's going on in the federal government right now. Anybody who is even attached in any way to Donald Trump as having their homes raided. That is unconstitutional. And no one cares because they didn't like Trump because he had mean tweets and orange hair. You people are idiots. You are mm, not going to cuss. You people are idiots. Uh, if you know somebody who's a liberal, call them out on it. Call them an idiot to their face. Stop being nice. They don't care about being nice. They're, they're, they need to be informed. You need to stop worrying about whether you're going to hurt their feelings or offend them because the government will eventually offend them. That's what tyrannical governments do. They eventually put their boot heel on everyone's neck, even those who agree with them. All right. Oh, I'm really pissed about this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motorport 59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content, and we'll see you all later.